Good job. The plan is working. The police have withdrawn their protection of Lee Hong and many of his connections are scared. Lee Hong is now accessible, but it still remains quite a challenge. Hong has a small army to protect him. This mission will be very complex. Take your time and explore the location before committing to action. Best wishes, Diana Burnwood. Find safe combination, find safe location, deliver Jade figure to Herbal Shop, eliminate Lee Hong. Captured agent must survive. Escape to rendezvous point. Reward $15,000. Our customers want Lee Hong dead, the Jade figure that empowers him. This figure is very valuable, both in terms of money and symbolism. Locate this artifact and bring it to the clerk in the herbal shop inside the restaurant. He will know what to do with it. Intelligence has informed us that one agent is missing during undercover work at Lee Hong's restaurant. His last report described a vast tunnel complex beneath the restaurant. We believe that he is being held hostage somewhere down there. We have transferred all your info to your map. Lee Hong runs a brothel on the second floor. It has been marked on your map. Li Hong's appetite for women may be one of his weak spots. When the triad has been alarmed, they will seal off the whole area. Use Li Hong's speedboat to get into clear waters where a pickup has been arranged for you. Li Hong, leader of the Red Dragon Triad. Jade figure, precious and extremely rare old artifact from the Huang period. The figure is about 10 inches tall, depicting a dragon. Li Hong served in the French Foreign Legion for five years in Vietnam, before returning to Hong Kong. Two weeks after his arrival, he poisoned his uncle and stepped in his shoes as the leader of the Red Dragon Triad. Has ruled large parts of Hong Kong for three decades. He is known publicly as the man with no conscience. Jade figure, made by the famous Chinese sculptor Ling Xiaomin in the 14th century. Supposed to possess magical properties, has been the symbol of power for a dynastic lineage of Chinese rulers through the times. The figure is hidden somewhere in the complex of the Shang Chao restaurant. Okay, and here we have a map of the area. So it's a similar area to what we had in level two, only it now extends far to the north with many different areas to it. So we've got the headquarters at the back there, Chinese garden over this way. Uh, down on the right hand side, we have the backyard, but we also have inside the building, the first floor. So we have the lobby there, VIP area, the bar, restaurant, the kitchen. Here is the herbal shop that was mentioned. We also have the second floor where there is the brothel, staff area, and finally, the extensive basement. Now we can see there's two steps down on the west side of the building, two elevators down over to the east, and uh, finally, a couple more elevators leading up into the headquarters. Speaking of the headquarters, there's our rendezvous point just outside. Okay, what do I want to bring into this mission? Well, I don't think I need any weapons, apart from the fiber wire here, which should be good for us. I'm also going to bring a compass, just because. Let's get going. Okay then, time for the Lee Hong assassination. Start by bringing out our compass here. Again, we start in the same area as level 2, and we're going to start making our way over to the restaurant. Now this mission is a lot more complex than all the previous ones, including the last mission. It's not only a simple case of finding Lee Hong and assassinating him, we've also got to find the location of his safe, find the combination for that safe, take the jade figure from it, uh, take it to the herbal shop, we've got to find the missing agent, and uh, maybe even pick up another couple of tasks along the way. Streets are a lot quieter than they were in level 2, but I'm sure once we head inside here security is going to be tight, because they're expecting trouble. Okay, off to the right there, entrance to the brothel. Off to the left, you've got the VIP area. Got one guard here guarding the bar. And he's also got a small supply closet behind him there. Let's head on through to the bar. Just like in the previous mission, we're going to talk to the bartender here. He had something to help us last time, so maybe this one will be the same. This place seems quiet. Where do I go for some action? You could try the second floor. I'm sure you will find what you need there, sir. Okay, so he's suggesting the brothel to us. I think that's where we're going to go next. So, we need this what is the purpose of your visit to our fair city, Mr... Reaper. Strictly business. You have many visitors at this time of year? No. In fact, the only other white guy here right now is in the basement. After trying to open, the bus is safe. He won't be able to open a can of beans when they are through with him. Okay, another suggestion then that there's someone down in the basement. The agent might be down there. That's what the briefing said as well. Let's put this flyer away. 
Without the flyer, we can't get access to the brothel. They will turn us away at the door. So now we have that. We can uh, gain an entry. We're going to head through here to the herbal shop. I'll talk to this Good gentleman. Good evening, most revered visitor. Can I help you in any way? Well, you tell me. This is my first visit. Honorable stranger. So far, I can only offer you this advice. Wherever you go in life, if you come with nothing, you leave with nothing. Goodbye. Okay, a suggestion then that we need to bring him something, just like the briefing said. Well, let's head back towards the uh, brothel here. You can see the guy in the green and in the yellow. Those are the waiters in this area. I can actually talk to them if I get close to one. Vestrooms do there. Let's see what he has to say. This door oh, is closed. Oh, he's heading through to the kitchen. Let's not do that then. Maybe we'll have an opportunity later on. Vestrooms just through there on the left. Welcome, honorable guest. Every pleasure is available inside. Okay, so we've got another way through to the brothel, just here. And see there how my character interacts with the fern. You might have saw earlier as well, the flag in the restaurant moves out of the way. This game's very impressive, technically. Welcome, honourable guest. Every pleasure is available inside. Okay, so that's the proprietor there of the brothel. Let's head up. Not only is there the way that the objects interact, but also this was, I think, the second game ever to have ragdoll physics, which is something we take for granted these days. Welcome to our den of iniquity. It is our business doing pleasure with you. May I introduce my number one girl, Lei Ling. She will do everything you desire and more. Cash or credit card? I'm sure. I have a bill at the bar. Just follow Lei to her room, my friend, and do not drool on the floor. <laughs> I can't hear a line like that without imagining what the voice actor looks like behind the scenes. We can actually talk to her again what here. What happened? Did my white knight change his mind? I still have favorite pleasure girl Lei waiting to please you. She looks just fine. I hope she can show me things I haven't seen yet. Just follow Lei to her room. And she'll show you things you haven't even dreamed of. Okay, let's head after it. She was heading through this way. Security back here as well. You see a massive mirror here. There was one behind the bar too. Again, game very technically impressive. Games for years and years and years after this. My tie twisted down, sorry. I think it might be. <laughs> yeah, games for years would not have mirrors that realistic that could reflect multiple objects so convincingly. So, what's new and exciting around here? I don't know. You tell me. I've been here too long. You don't like being here. This is Hong Kong. Like it doesn't come into it. Well, let's begin here then. Who are you? I'm not who you think I am. Just as the mirror is not always just a reflection of what you see. I do not belong here. What about you, mister? I'm here on business, looking for Mr. Lee Hong. Actually, I'm looking for his safe. I see. Well, help me out of here, and I might have some information for you. Okay, it's a deal. Follow me. I know a way across the roof, and the combination to Lee Hong's safe. I found it in his trousers. Okay, let's get after them. We can actually take her out in that room and take the combination off her body. It's not the best way of doing it, though. I want to keep civilian deaths to a minimum. Now, she's heading out here onto the roof, but we're going to get stopped as we Leave approach. immediately. So we're going to need to find a way to disguise ourselves in order to get after her. Now, the best opportunity for doing that that we've come across so far is the bodyguard that's outside the entrance to the bar. There's a small supply closet behind him. We can hide his body in there. We just need to find the right time to take him out. Let's 
Once we have a disguise, pretty much all the mission area opens up to us. Okay, there he is. Gonna check for patrolling guards. That way it looks clear. Oh, here comes one just now. However, once she goes by, we might have an opportunity here. Okay, let's take him out. And quickly move his body back in here. Okay, should be good here. Let's take his weapon. Put that away, take his clothes, and we're done. Make sure we shut the door behind us. There she is, none the wiser, but all good. Let's head back towards the roof now. I'd say we're about 20% done now with this mission. It's a long way to go still. We've done so much. Here we go again. Lays back here wondering where we got to. Where have you been? I'm back. Sorry about that. Follow me. Okay, let's get after her again. This time we can wander past this guy without him complaining. Though you do wonder why he lets her out onto the roof. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> let's just uh, avoid him. Quickly get up this ladder here before anyone sees us. I always think that uh, Agent 47 looks a bit like Sergeant Cortez from the Time Splitters games during that cutscene there. I think it's the glasses. Anyway, we're now in the backyard. Leiling's heading to the south here. There's her escape. Let's get after her. Falling behind a bit here. Quick! There's a CIA guy in the basement. He might know something. Here, I can give you the combination to the safe if that is of any help. I found it in a pair of Lee Hong's trousers. Good luck to you, handsome. That guy coming to investigate there. Let's get out of here before he asks any questions. Okay, so we have the combinations to the uh, safe. Now you might think if you've played this level before you can just go straight to the safe. However, there's a bit of a problem with that. There are four safes in this building here. Uh, we need to find the correct one. Now, we got final confirmation that the uh, agent we're looking for is in the basement from um, Lei Ling there. CIA agent, apparently. So maybe they're working with our agency. Maybe it's the same thing. I don't know. Let's head through into the kitchen here. We know from the map that there are a couple staircases leading down into the basement on the east side of the complex. Here's one of them. So let's head down. And we suspect it'll be in the deepest, darkest part of the uh, dungeon here. You can check all the little rooms if you want to, but uh, he's only in the one that's all the way down. So we're going to keep heading deeper. And deeper still. A lot of guards down here. Some patrolling, some just stationary. Here's another door with a guard posted outside. This door is closed. Okay, they do not want us going in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take up our position just here. We're going to wait for our opportunity and pull out our fiber wire and take care of this guy. Okay, he's out of sight. Now's our chance. Got 
got to be quick here. Drag into this room, around the corner, out of sight. Okay. And there we go. Let's uh, take his uniform. This is the uniform worn in the more secure parts of the complex there, so it's going to come in handy to us. Let's talk to the agent here. Just the man I've been looking for. Jeez, am I glad to see you. I'm halfway dead here. So, how did you end up in this mess? I tried to unlock the safe in the meeting room at the VIP area, but I don't have the combination for it. I think one of the girls on the second floor knows the combination. Let me help you out of here. Okay, he's going to do a running out. Let's get after him. Now we can take that AK-47 there if we want to. It is a weapon we're allowed to carry. He's telling us that the safe that we need is over in the VIP area, which is not the answer we really wanted to hear. There's a, a sniper just there we can use if you want, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Again, I don't think that's a weapon we can even carry, unlike the AK-47, so I think we get in trouble if anyone sees us with it. AK-47 and ammo just there. We'll leave that be. Gonna head this way. The VIP area is in the west end of the building. And we have a lift just here that will take us up to it. Okay, we're about a third done with the mission now. A deep breath. Here we go, VIP area. So many guards wandering around this area. More up on the balcony above. That's the worst possible place where the safe can be. If it's up there, I don't believe there's a way of getting it. Uh, well, keeping casualties to a minimum. Maybe you could still do it without alerting the guards using a silenced weapon if you very quickly took care of two different enemies. Uh, but I'm really not convinced it's possible. The other places it can be is over on the far east of the building or up in the uh, brothel itself. Okay, there's our safe. We have one guard, two guards looking after it for it. We need to take them both out without being spotted. Now this guy, well the guy by the safe is gonna periodically check his six. And this guy here is going to move from point to point. We need to time this right here. Okay, he's looking behind him now. Now's our chance. Okay, okay. Very quickly move the body down here. Put that Uzi away. Okay, we're all good. What we're gonna do here. Restricted area. <laughs> he doesn't, immediately. He doesn't like us being here. Let's step behind him. Then take him out. You can hear other people going around in the lifts. Okay. Here we go. Safe's open. We have the Jade figure. Okay, deep breaths. Do not go back through the door we came from, because that will reveal a dead body there to the room. I can hear more doors opening. That's never good. Okay, no, it's just found here. We're fine. What we want to do now is head back to the herbal shop. I think this is a safe way to go. Okay, yeah, I think this is going to take us outside. Didn't. This door will go outside, though out into the Chinese garden here. You can actually come out into this Chinese garden in just your suit. 
but you won't be able to get anywhere from it. All the various doors forwards, including the one we just passed through, all require a uniform. There's the restaurant just up there. Okay, here we go. Back into the rest uh, herbal shop here. Get this guy's attention. Close that door, we don't want anyone listening in on this conversation. Greetings, most venerable visitor. I have been expecting you. I believe you have something for me. Here you are. In return, tell me how I get close to Li Hung. Ah, just as the fox has several entries to his den, so there is more than one way to gain access to the lair of the liege. You can find him in his headquarters, where he is most secure, guarded by Tsung, his trusted personal bodyguard. Go through the secret passage in the basement. Hmm, interesting. Any other suggestions? It is man that can make the way great, not the way that can make man great. You can choose another path to Li Hong by means of deception. This small flask with white powder has great potency. A leader is always weakest when his guard is down. The man you are looking for We'll be eating at the restaurant. Okay, let's take this bottle of poison then. As he says, Li Hong is on his way here to the restaurant. There's a table set just there. Coming through the doors any second now. There he is. That's our target. The first time we've been close to him. But behind him there, we have Soon, his personal bodyguard. And uh, he is a sixth sense, does Soon. He can see straight through disguises if he thinks you look suspicious. So we're going to have to find a way of approaching him that won't draw suspicion. And uh, the way to do that is by utilizing one of the waiters that is wandering around. There's one of them. The other one, I think he could be in the restroom already. Let's head through that way. He's not here yet. Okay. Eventually, one of them will need the toilet. There we go. Let's take up position just here. Here we go. Oh, that was close. Okay. Very, very close there. Let's drag him. Hide him in this cubicle over here. Take his clothes. Okay. You can see his body there. Uh, this door needs to shut. Okay, someone's just throwing up in there. Nothing to worry about. Okay. we're going to do now is head back out onto the restaurant floor and through into the kitchen. Serve this soup for Mr. Li Hong, who'll be arriving shortly. Okay. Let's do just that. Over to the soup. While the chef has his back turned, put a little bit of poison in. And take the bowl. That guy was staring right at us, but I guess he just thought we were putting some seasoning on it. And 
There he is. Both of them looking at us, waiting for the food. Okay, Lee Hung is getting away. Let's quickly put that gun away before anyone spots us. We need to get quickly out of that uniform before they identify that it was a waiter who brought the poison. Close that off. Here's our uniform. Take those clothes. Shut that door. And then casually make our way out. Okay, guards are found soon dead. He's heading to the bathroom. With luck, he won't see his colleague dead on the ground in there. We're going to act casual. So Lee Hong has been alarmed. HQ has sealed off the main entrance, that said. So thankfully for us, we know an alternate way down in the basement where we can head through. So let's do just that. Again, at casual, everything's fine. These guys aren't yet alerted to the trouble upstairs. We also got the hardballer from uh, soon there. Okay, into the elevator here, and deeper into the basement we go. More guards down this way. I think in the upper basement you can move around with one of the bodyguard suits that we see. Guards found soon dead, so more guards being alerted here. But uh, I'm not sure you're allowed in this deeper basement area in anything but the uniform we're wearing right now. Squeeze past these guys. Call an elevator. I don't know why my headband is sticking <laughs> directly backwards. the first floor. We're now in the headquarters building where Lee Hong has retreated to. He knows someone's after him. So everyone's on high alert now. And look at the number of guards he's got posted around here. So many more. Around every turn. Okay, we're going up. Even more there, and there he is, the man himself. But guards posted everywhere. His bedroom here is in sight of those guys. The balcony has a guard on it. But his office, just here, has no one in sight. This is going to be our opportunity. Let's get ready. Fiber wire ready. Oof, okay. Too close there. We'll wait. We'll be patient. He sees us as just another one of his guys at the moment. Let's try and keep it that way. Here he comes. We got him. Down he goes. Right, let's put that away. Now he had something on him here. Pick up this letter. 
And these things can be a pain in, to read. Let's uh, equip that and then go back to the letter. It should work. There we go. Vienna, 20th of October, 1999. Dear friends, I must support the new thoughts on our project. I'm sick and tired of waiting for this old man. As you know, my work needs a steady hand and sharp wit, and I'm not getting younger. Therefore, I support the idea about splitting the fruit. Let's split the fruit while we can savour it. Blood and muscle. France. Okay, then. So, we don't know who that France was, but uh, certainly a letter sent to Li Hong, maybe among others, dressed to dear friends. Anyway, our target is dead. It's time to make our escape. Now, the way out is downstairs in this building. Our suit is all the way back in the main complex. There's no opportunity to go back for it. All the streets in the surrounding area are going to be shut down, so they will catch us if we try to go that way. Our only opportunity is to go through this way and ride this elevator down. Single guard down here, guarding Li Hong's speedboat. That is how we're going to make our escape. Okay, mission accomplished. Mission status, deliver Jade Figure to Herbal Shop, eliminate Li Hong, find safe combination, find safe uh, find safe combination. Mission award, 20,000 there. We had hardly any expenses, only the fiber wire and the compass needed to complete this mission. Unnecessary kills, unfortunately, civilian times one. So this would not be a silent assassin playthrough. There is a way of completing this mission, which I'm gonna try and demonstrate that doesn't require this, but it's kind of hokey in the way you have to go about it. Uh, this is the way, certainly, that the mission was designed to be played, by killing that waiter there. Uh, I will come back in another video and show the alternate places where the safes might be, and uh, the other way to take out Li Hong without killing the civilian here. Though, uh, unfortunately, there will be more guard deaths if I do that way. Okay, and we saw in that final cutscene at the end as well what looked like the silhouette of Li Hong along with two others gathered around a table. Uh, that might tie into the story going forwards, but for now, thank you very much for watching. This is the last of the Hong Kong um, levels. I don't know when I'm next going to be back. Like I said, I've been playing a different game uh, each week of January and then getting to the end of the month, I'll see which ones are most popular and then continue uh, the two most popular ones in February. Uh, if this game is among them, then I'll be back in February, otherwise it'll be sometime later in the year. Thanks very much for watching guys. For this month in January, I'm doing a different game each week, and the two games that get the best response I'm going to continue forwards with in February. So if you like the video and you want to see more, please leave a comment below.